Hi guys, I'm Oliver Pett. Um, I'm one of the squash scholars here at Roehampton University. Um, I'm studying psychology and counselling um, and I was previously top 50 in the world. It's been a very enjoyable challenge. To start with, the studying was very, very difficult. I've um, come in as a mature student, so um, I've not really been in the studying mindset for a long, long, long time now. Um, whereas a professional sport comes quite naturally, quite easily to me. So getting the balance right was always quite tricky. And I found just, just getting myself into a nice balance and a nice routine where I always felt like I was improving or achieving something, whether it was with my squash or whether it was with my education. It just really helped me keep positive and keep in a really nice flow. So I started playing when I was very young, six, um, and I went through my school and college, etc., playing, you know, through the age groups, um, and I represented England and um, you know played in world championships and was very lucky in that sense. Um, I turned professional at 19, I believe. Um, went on tour, played all the sort of the big tournaments, and that's where I really sort of became a professional and sort of you know learned the trade, etc. I retired um, at 26 just due to a few injuries and setbacks, sadly. Um, yeah, sports can be, not always go, go to plan. Part of the reason for wanting to come to Roehampton, well, for squash anyway, was the connection that they have with Wimbledon squash. Um, the coach there, Phil Rushworth, is uh, one of the best coaches in England, let alone the south of England. Um, so having the chance and opportunity to sort of to train and sort of have the exposure to Phil and the club um, day to day has been sort of, yeah, pivotal really for me, improving and, and for half the squash community improving as well. The university's helped a lot. Um, just for age, bringing a bit of structure back to my life and, and excitement outside of squash. But then seeing the enthusiasm within the university with squash, and not just squash, but with sports in general. Um, I think that's really helped, just seeing younger people um, just really enjoy their sports and get excited and get involved and, and sort of see that little bit of passion back with sports. Yeah, definitely. I think that's that has helped massively in my sort of invigoration. I think um, it's something that I never really thought would happen. I thought I was going to be young forever. It's got to be said. Thought I'd always take that sort of uh, junior pro sort of role for the rest of my life. But um, no, that's been really exciting actually. Um, just because when you're in amongst the sort of professionalism and the battle of it all, you don't realise how people perceive you outside of it. So then coming into an environment where you've got younger people who are sort of making their own squash journey, whether it's as a university student or as a professional themselves, I think the amount of information I can bring and the amount of information sort of they want to get out of me is, is, is nice. It's, it's sort of almost an honour. Firstly, I think I wanted to finish off my squash career in the most positive manner I could. That was my biggest goal, was to, to finish it in a way that I could be happy with for the rest of my life and um, people around me could be sort of proud of. So that was my first biggest goal. But then secondly, I, I wanted to link in what I was doing with my degree, psychology and counselling, and um, sort of look at ways I could offer support networks within sports um, in a more sort of holistic sort of home sense rather than as a sports psychologist. I think um, sports psychology is something that is at the forefront of everyone's mind at the moment and a lot of athletes are very put together impressive people but I think the home life and the personal and the day-to-day -day sort of dealing with yourself and dealing with yourself growing. Athletes are really good at burying that stuff. I mean I buried it for years and years and years and I was good at it, everyone thought I was okay. But you're not. 
and that's where a lot of injuries come from. I mean, I've spoken to so many people who say the injury list is due to the mental fatigue and the, uh, the life that I couldn't process. So um, that is fascinating. Like, can you sort of, sort of make people's careers longer? Can you save people from injuries, from mental health, from sort of debilitating sort of issues, really? That was something that really interests me and I'm excited to sort of dive into a little bit. Um, so they're my biggest plans.